Morgan Freeman here, and I'm in Wakanda forever. Now, it's Hyperman as Deadpool, and I've just seen Wakanda forever, twice actually, in the past week. Uh, I'm a fan of Marvel, of course, uh, and I love the Black Panther character. I enjoyed the first film. I uh, just felt the CGI fight between T'Challa and Killmonger at the end was a little bit off. Other than that, I quite enjoyed it. Um, so they had a bit of a hard time, of course, with uh, Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace, legend, uh, dying of cancer, unfortunately. Um, so they've done a, I feel like they did a great job um, changing the story to fit. Uh, and if anyone reads Marvel comics, they would understand that the person who becomes the new Black Panther, it does actually happen in the comics. So it's not MCU or Marvel being woke or anything like that, any of that crap. I'm sorry. Um, uh, the change to Namor, um, I know it's not like in the comics, uh, but I actually liked it. Um, Seeing as Aquaman beat him to the big screen and they had to kind of change Atlantis, uh, otherwise it's too confusing for audiences. I get it. Um, but yeah, I actually quite liked uh, the uh, using using the change to Namor and his indigenous heritage and stuff. That was quite cool. I enjoyed it. Uh, I felt the third act fight scene was better than the first movie. Uh, so all up, I give it a double thumbs up. Uh, probably one of the best, in my opinion, Phase 4 films for Marvel in the MCU. Um, I know some people complaining that it's never been as good since Endgame. And, yeah, I mean, that's you can, you can have that opinion, that's fine. Um, in terms of Black Widow, I th felt they should have had a trilogy of Black Widow films uh, long before. Eternals for me didn't really do it for me. I enjoyed Black uh, Black Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Um, Spider Man, uh, uh, No Way Home, and Shang Chi I really loved. So yeah. Um, and in terms of talking of uh, now, talking of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, you've got Sam Raimi directing, absolute legend. Uh, I've loved him since the Evil Dead movies, and you've got the man, the myth. The Chin, Bruce Campbell. Uh, so my second film I'm reviewing, and seeing as it's Black Friday, we never used to have Black Friday here in Australia, uh, but we've started having it for some reason. Uh, so I'm actually reviewing the movie Black Friday. Um, as you can see, uh, it says, what does it say? Loved every minute of it. Minute, oh, the reviews say, loved every minute of it. A tremendous amount of fun and a gross out good time. Um, so when I saw that cover, um, and it's not only got Bruce Campbell, it's got one of my favourite martial artists of the last you know, 10, 15 years, Michael J. White. Been in a couple of great movies, uh, Blood and Bone, Black Dynamite particularly. I was like, I need to get this. Uh, I need to buy it straight away without really seeing anything else and i'll be completely honest uh i was actually mildly disappointed uh, michael j white was basically un underutilized um i don't know whether he just was taking a paycheck uh during covid uh for two days work or something i don't know just felt felt like they could have done considering his martial arts talents i was expecting well, i was hoping at least one good fight scene of him taking on a demon or whatever they are. Uh, Bruce Campbell, of course, has his Bruce Campbellisms, and the only, the only, the only positive I could say about it is, if I imagine that it's um, uh, the end of Army of Darkness, uh, as if uh, the Ash vs Evil Dead movie never happened, uh, Ash vs Evil Dead series never happened. And um, Ash Williams was still in the S-Mart. So shop smart, shop S-Mart. That's literally the only thing in the back of my head where I was like, okay, well, if I think of it that way, I'll find it a bit more entertaining. 
Um, but the gore was meh, average. Um, there was comedy was a bit hit and miss. Um, to be honest, uh, I'm actually not going to keep the movie. That's that's how average I thought it was. And I'm a big Bruce Campbell and Michael J. White fan. So it's it's I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to donate it to my local DVD rental shop, uh, Galactic Video. So I give that maybe a, a two. Well, I don't give it a rating out of five. I would give it a um, a five out of ten for Black Friday at at best. Uh, Wakanda Forever, I'd give uh, a solid a solid eight out of ten. Um, so yeah, so check them out if you want. I really like horror comedy, and that's that's what disappointed me about this. Uh, lack of comedy uh, and the horror bit elements were a bit underwhelming. No worries. Hope I went out.